Oh, good. Well, we've got 10 people already. Good evening, everybody. Um, welcome to uh, another episode of Be Just and Quiz On. Hope everyone's well. Those, uh, the more observant of you will realize I'm very sunburnt. I've been sat in the garden all day. <clears throat> um, I'm sure a lot of you watching will be too. Um, just before we get started, um, just on behalf of QOS, just want to say a massive thank you to um, everyone that's got behind Carlisle Reunited and, and given us uh, support on social media. It means a lot, and we we're, we're, we're ho hope you think we're doing it for the uh, the right reasons. And um, we know a lot of you got in touch and, and wanted to help, so it, uh, it's good, and it seems to have been received well. So thanks for all the, um, all the commitment we've had and all the um, positivity. It means a lot. And, and also, thank you for... Um, for indicating a lot of you indicating to the club that you, you're happy to donate some of your season ticket money uh, to the club. That's that's brilliant. Uh, just shows in these uncertain times that the club means an awful lot to us. So well done, everybody. Um, right. So anyway, enough of that. Um, tonight's quiz: we have twenty questions as usual. A possible highest score of twenty-four tonight. Uh, very very quiz uh, tonight. I think it's. There's some easy ones, but there's some hard ones tonight. I don't know. See how Keith Elliott gets on. Um, I know he's keen for this, but I can't see anyone getting full marks tonight. But we'll see. I know a lot of you often do. Uh, as usual, we'll just give it a couple of minutes. We'll uh, let people who are still having a pint in the beehive to get in five minutes after kickoff. You know who you are. Well, no, they don't because they're not here. But, but yeah, we hope you've uh, enjoyed the sunshine today responsibly. Kept two metres apart, wore sunscreen and all that. And, um, yeah. Okay, so, uh, same format as, as the last few weeks. Uh, oh, apologies for last Monday. Um, I'm sure you gathered that we, as we were launching Reunited, uh, Carlo Reunited, I was somewhat occupied. Um, so, back to it this week. But, yeah, 20 questions tonight. Uh, a possible highest score of 24. Uh, I'll go through them, repeat each one twice, and then what I'll do once we're finished is I'll repeat the first five or six for any any of the latecomers, um, and then I'll go through the answers. So, uh, without further ado, I think, what time is it? Right, we've been on a couple of minutes. Let's make a start. So, question one this evening. Uh, Jimmy Whitehouse scored 100 goals for the Blues in the 50s, but what was his nickname? Jimmy Whitehouse scored 100 goals for the Blues in the 50s. What was his nickname? Question number two. Who is the only manager to be appointed permanently on three occasions? And that includes caretaker stints as well. Who is the only manager to be appointed permanently on three occasions, including uh, caretaker jobs? Okay, so question number three is for four points. Um, and it's, uh, this thing's pretty easy, but name our previous four main shirt sponsors. So across the, across the chest. Name our previous four main shirt sponsors and you get a point for each one. Okay, if you get the next one right, but you don't get the spelling right, that's fine. Give yourself it. Question number four. Which Greek defender made a trial appearance for Carlisle United under John Sheridan at Penrith? Which Greek defender made a trial appearance for Carlisle United under John Sheridan at Penrith? I think Sheridan said something like, yeah, he looks good, but he doesn't understand what I'm saying to him. <laughs> no. Yeah, if you can spell that right, you're a better man than me. Okay, introducing for the first time in uh, Be Just and Quiz On, the first multiple choice question. Question five, how old was Ivor Broadis when he became player manager in 1946? Was it A, 25, B, 26, or C, 23? How old was Ivor Broadis when he became player manager in 1946? A, 25, B, 26, C, 23. And since we're introducing new themes, 
Here's a geography question. Six. Which ground is the nearest to Brunton Park by road? A. Newcastle United's St. James's Park, which incidentally is not far from where I'm sitting. B. Barrows Hulker Street. Or C. Queen of the South's Palmerston Park. Switch ground is the nearest to Brunton Park by road. Newcastle's, Barrows, Queen of the South. Question seven. Which former player had this career? These are all his permanent clubs. Tramia, Oldham, Stoke, Crystal Palace, QPR, Glasgow Rangers, Carlisle United. Which former player had this career? These are all his permanent clubs. There were some low moves in here. Tramia, Oldham, Stoke, Palace, QPR, Rangers. And the biggest club out of all them, Carlisle United. Question number eight. As we all know, Danny Livesey scored the penalty that took us to Stoke City. But who scored our first penalty in that shootout that night against Aldershot Town in the conference playoff semi-final? Danny Livesey scored the penalty that took us to Stoke City, but who scored the first penalty in that shootout? Okay. Question number nine. Which EFL club have the following former Carlisle players also played for? Pascal Chimbonda, Ian Hart, Ivor Broadis. Which EFL club have the following Carlisle players also played for? Pascal Chimbonda, Ian Hart, Ivor Broadis. Uh, question 10 is a name the season, so your answer should be in the format of had it have been this season, well, the season that's just kind of gone, uh, you would have, you would say 2019-20. That's how you that's the format you need to answer this one. So question 10 is name the season. We were knocked out of the FA Cup by Rochdale in the second round. Our top scorer was Charlie Wyke, but the league's top scorers were John Akinde and John Marquise. So name the season. We were knocked out of the FA Cup by Rochdale in the second round. Our top scorer was Wyke, but the league's top scorers were John Akinde and John Marquis. Marquis, Marquis. All right. Question number 11. Name the former Blue, who had been highly rated uh, as the captain of Manchester City's development squad before signing for Fleetwood before signing for Fleetwood and then us, and now plays for Chester City. Sounds like I've had lots of beers in the garden. I haven't. Just lots of vitamin D and not enough sunscreen. Name the former Blue, who had been highly rated as the captain of his Manchester City development squad before signing for Fleetwood and then us, but now plays for Chester City. I remember being quite enthused about signing him. And just it just didn't really didn't really happen for him. Okay, question twelve: Which former Carlisle caretaker manager had the following career? Halifax, Crew, and Carlisle United between nineteen ninety seven and two thousand. Workington, where he didn't make a competitive appearance, then Gretna, where he made four. So, which former Carlisle caretaker manager had the following career? Halifax, Crew. Us between 97 and 2000. Workington, but he didn't make a competitive appearance. Then Gretna, where he made four. Right, in an episode of first, the next two questions are following the theme of when football has also stopped due to the national effort. Uh, number 14. No, sorry. Number 13. In our 1938-1939 season, we played our last away game before closure for the Second World War. Who were our opponents? Now, it's quite hard. So the clue is that they currently compete in the National League North. So in the season of 1938-1939, we played our last away game before closure for the Second World War. Who were our opponents? But your clue is 
They currently compete in the National League North. I bet you Carly United Sports away travel was still at that game. Keith? Do you remember? 14. When things finally got underway again after World War II, in the 40s, yeah, in the 46-47 season, our first uh, our first game back was also away. Who were the opponents? So Clue, currently in League Two, and they're Northern. When things got underway after the world uh, after World War Two in the 46-47 season, our first game back was also away. But who were the opponents? Clue, currently in League Two. Um, one of our nearer trips. Question 15. In the old second division division fixture at home to Middlesbrough, played in the 1973-74 season, a future Scotland international uh, appearing for the opposition was sent off. Name him. He's quite a famous bloke. In the second division fixture at home to Middlesbrough uh, in the 73-74 season, a future Scotland international appearing for the opposition was sent off. Who was it? He is very famous and still pretty current in football. I don't know why I'm giving away so many clues tonight. I maybe think it's because it's quite hard. Question 16. I didn't know this. I learned something new this. Well, I, I always learn lots of new things uh, doing this, but. Uh, in the preseason, team photograph taken before the big kickoff in August 1988, a striker appeared in Carlisle Colours. However, he failed to agree a permanent contract for the club and never played for us during this season. Who was that? So, in the preseason, team photograph taken before the um, August um, 1988 89 season, a striker appeared in our Colours but failed to agree permanent contracts for the club. Never played for us in this season. Who was that? Okay. Question 17. Mike Sutton, Mark Tierney and Tim Krull have all played for Carlisle United and which other club? Mike Sutton, Mark Tierney and Tim Krull all ex Carlisle, and who else have they all played for? <laughs> Question 18. United announced a new head coach ahead of the 1999 2000 season. A week later, he resigned without taking charge of a single match. Who was that coach? So, then uh, ahead of the 99 2000 season, we announced a new head coach. A week later, he resigned and he never took charge. Of a single match. Who was that coach? It's always good when you're live on YouTube to get hiccups. Okay, near there. Two points for this one. Question 19. In the home first division fixture against Ipswich Town in the 74-75 season... Uh, we had a penalty kick that was taken twice, but both times we failed to score. Name the two players who took the penalty kicks, a point for each. So in the home first division fixture against Ipswich in the 74-75 season, we had a penalty kick, which was taken twice, but both times we failed to score. Typical. Name the two players who took the penalty kicks, and you get a point for each. And... Question number 20. Playing for Carlisle United in the 2019-20 season. So, uh, which player had this career? Histon, Wrexham, Peterborough, Shrewsbury, Bradford, Carlisle United. So, playing for us in the 2019-20 season, which player had this career? Histon, Wrexham, Peterborough, Shrewsbury, Bradford <coughs> and Carlisle. Right, I will repeat the first few questions really quickly. Just before I do, for anyone that was uh, a little bit late, we just want to say a massive thank you for um, 
the support we've received and the donations and the good the goodwill um for the Carlisle Reunited campaign. That means a lot to us and we hope it does to you too. It's a long going thing. It's all about um giving to the club for uh next season, whenever that'll be. Because next season there's a lot of uncertainty and we 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 don't undermine that. Um and also just thanks for um many season ticket holders who if they could, if they were in a position to, um, indicated to the club that they would happily not need a refund for the remaining games and would give that to the club as a donation. So, well done. Anyway, OK, thank you for that. Uh, I'll go through the first five really quickly, then I'll shoot through the answers. Then you can all um, go and watch Netflix. Uh, question one. Jimmy Whitehouse scored 100 goals for the Blues in the 50s. What was his nickname? Jimmy Whitehouse. Scored 100 goals for the Blues in the 50s, but what was his nickname? Question two. Who is the only manager to be appointed permanently on three occasions? Caretaker included. So, to be fair, it's not really permanently. But um, you get the gist. Who is the only manager to be appointed on three occasions? Caretaker included. Question three was worth four points, and it was to simply name our previous four main shirt sponsors. So, four points. A point each. Name our previous four shirt sponsors. <clears throat> Uh, this is the one where I won't mark you down with spelling. Which Greek defender made a trial appearance for Carlisle under Sheridan at Penrith? Greek defender. Trial appearance for us at Penrith in pre-season under John Sheridan. And question five was the first ever <clears throat> multiple choice question in B. Justin quiz on how old was Ivor Brodis when he became player manager in 1946? A25, B26 or C23? Brodis when he became player manager in 1946 was the A25, B26 or C, 23. Right, quick gulp. Okay, let's go through the answers. So question one, Jimmy Whitehouse scored 100 goals for the Blues in the 50s. His nickname was Wham. Wham. Question two, the only manager to be appointed permanently on three occasions, caretaker included. Sorry about that. So it, it was, of course, Bob Stoko. 68 to 70, 80 to 85, 85 to 86. Question three, for four points, name our previous four main shirt sponsors. So currently it's EWM, before that DSD, before that Virgin Trains, before that Stobart. EWM, DSD, Virgin Trains, Stobart. <laughs> four, which Greek defender made the trial appearance for us under Sheridan at Penrith? It was Dimi Kotsonis. Dimi Kotsonis. And how old was Ivor Broadis when he became player manager in 46? Uh, the answer is C, 23. 23. Question six was the first geography answer uh, question I've ever asked you. It's just because uh, I'm sure everyone's missing school, if there are any school goes in this. Um, which ground is the nearest to Brunton Park by road? A, St. James's from Newcastle United. B, Barrows Hulker Street. Or C, Queen of the South, Palmerston Park. The answer is C, Palmerston Park. I had written the mileage down, but uh, I've lost it. So you just have to take my word for that. <clears throat> Question seven was the former player who had the career uh, with his permanent clubs being Tramia, Oldham, Stoke, Palace, QPR, Rangers and us. It was, of course, Clint Hill. What a touch of class he brought. Question eight, Danny Livesey scored the penalty that took us to Stoke City, but who scored the first penalty in that shootout that night? It was Chris Lumsden. What a stressful evening that was. Question nine, what club had the following Carlisle players also played for? Chimbonda, Ian Hart, Ivor Broadis, Sunderland. And question ten, I think even though this is this this is modern, I would struggle with these. So well done if you've got this. Name the season. We were knocked out of the FA Cup by Rochdale in the second round. Our top scorer was Charlie Wyke. And the league's top scorers, <coughs> excuse me, John Akinde and John Marquis. That was the 2016-17 season. I think they're hard. I know that was modern, but I get mixed up with seasons. So well done if you got that. 11, name this former blue. 
He'd been highly rated as the captain of his Manchester City development squad before signing um, for Fleetwood and then us. And he now plays for Chester City. It's George Glendon. <coughs> I'm losing my voice a bit. Uh, question 12. Which former Carlisle caretaker manager had the following career? Halifax, Crewe and Carlisle between 97 and 2000. Workington, where he didn't make a competitive appearance. Then Gretna, where he made four. The answer is Billy Barr. In our 1938 39 season, we played our last away game before closure for the Second World War. Who were our opponents? The clue was there in National League North. The answer was Gateshead. Anyone there? 14, when things got underway after World War II in the 46 47 season, our first game back was also away. Who were the opponents? I gave you a clue. They were uh, currently in League Two. And uh, Northern, the answer is Oldham Athletic. 15. In the old second division fixture at home to Middlesbrough, played in the 73 74 season, a future Scotland international appearing uh, for the opposition was sent off. Who was it? It was Graham Sooners. Rumour has it he was still slating Podger, Paul Pobber in that game as well. Question 16. Uh, in the pre-season team photograph taken before the 88-89 season, we had a striker in the photograph who failed to agree permanent contracts for, for us then and didn't play for us during that season. That was Dean Holdsworth. Now, he had been on loan previously, if that confuses you. He had played for us, but on loan previously. 17 was Mike Sutton, Mark Tierney and Tim Krull have all played for Carlisle United. And which other club? Norwich. Norwich City. Question 18. United announced the new head coach ahead of the 99-2000 uh, season. A week later, he resigned without taking charge of a single match. That was Keith Mincher. Question 19. In the home first division fixture against Ipswich Town in the 74-75 season, United had a penalty that was taken twice, but both times we failed to score. Name the two players who took the penalty kick. Point for each. First one was Bobby Parker. Um, he, he, uh, that was saved, but the keeper moved apparently, so it had to be retaken. And then it was Les O'Neill who missed. Bobby Parker, Les O'Neill. Question 20. Playing for Carlisle United in the 2019-20 uh, season, so season just gone, effectively. Uh, which player had this career? Histon, Wrexham, Peterborough, Shrewsbury, Bradford, Carlisle. The answer is Nathaniel Knight Percival. Thank you, everyone, for tonight. Uh, it's lovely, for, lovely to do this for everyone. Um, of course, once again, reiterate, thanks so much for everything for the Carlisle Reunited campaign. If you want to learn more, I've stuck the um, link in where you can learn more about it or, or donate. Um, now, you can donate as little or as much as you want. If you can, we totally appreciate that not everyone's in the position to, to donate. But even if it's just a couple of quid a month or whatever, you can sign on for like monthly monthly things. Um, if, that, if that floats your boat, please feel free. Um, and thanks everyone for for you know we're get we're getting people wanting to get involved in QOS. That's brilliant. Um, so thanks for everyone's enthusiasm. Um, it feels like we've made a little start on reuniting. You know, not just you know, just re, just that makes it all kind of nice, doesn't it? So we all love the club. Up, upper blue. 